Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Winter Railway Adventures, Episode 82. Come along, Old Slow Coach. Doc had just finished pulling Old Slow Coach and, she, and he shunted her quickly into a siding. Old Slow Coach looked very tired. What's the matter? asked Catherine. Oh, said Old Slow Coach. Nothing, really. Something has to be, to be the matter, said Clarabelle. You look very tired. I am. Well, the thing is, is I'm, be I'm very tired of being pulled around so hard. Really, said Annie? We would like it. Yes, indeed, said Catherine. Coley only takes me out once a day. And Thomas only has a few more, a few branch line trains nowadays. Oh, times are changing quick. Yes, indeed, said Old Slow Coach. But I'm just tired of it. Oh, I try to get some rest, but then an engine has to come pull me. See, look! Goodbye, guys, said Old Slow Coach, and she puffed away, and she was pulled away. Oh, dear, said Catherine. This is terrible. We can't let our best friend not feel good, said Clarabelle, we need to do something. Yes, indeed, said Catherine. Late that night, Old Slow Coach was brought, brought back to the yard. Just then, the flying Scotsman popped up. Old Slow Coach, he said, I've been hearing, I've been hearing the story that you were once the that you were once the house for the firemen. What happened? Old Slow, so Old Slow Coach explained the situation in which the fire station burned down and the firemen had no place to sleep. They converted Old Slow Coach into a house. This made, feel, old, this made Old Slow Coach feel very happy. Ah, yes, said Old Slow Coach. Those were the good days. But then Sir Topham had needed an extra coach, so he decided to bring me back. I would love to be a house again. Well, can you, said the, said the flying Scotsman. Yes, said the, the Old Slow Coach. I will. What happened? Well, here's what happened. Your barge of yours, Bolstra, was bringing in some packages last night from the ocean. They're from the mainland. You know the storm last night that blew through here? Oh, yes, said Catherine. Who wouldn't remember? Well, that's exactly what happened. The pack He was carrying too many packages, and one giant wave tossed them right over into the sea. They were never seen again. Those packages were wood from my driver and fireman's house. Can you, can you, got, can old slow coach please become my driver and fireman's house? Only temporarily, though. Oh, certainly, said Old Slow Coach. That would be absolutely fine. Thank you very much, said the Flying Scotsman. You're welcome, said Old Slow Coach. The next day, the driver and fireman came to inspect her. Wow, she looks very nice. But we're going to have to pull out the seats and turn them into beds. That's all right, said Old Slow Coach. I don't mind that. Overall, the driver and the fireman found her very suitable, and they liked her a lot. She's very polite, they said. The Flying Scotsman took it as the top of hat. The driver and fireman explained the situation. Well, if Old Slow Coach doesn't want to be pulled around as much, this would be the way to go. Oh, thank you, sir, said Old Slow Coach. All right, can, can all right, said Sir Topham. Everything sound good? Yes, said Old Slow Coach. But can I sleep in the yard with my friends still? Yes, said Sir Topham. Hat. Great, said Old Slow Coach. But not right now. That would that will be your hopefully that will be your home. But we never know. All right, said Old Slow Coach. That's fine. But unfortunately, Old Slow Coach didn't get to sleep with her friends. She was very sad. They put her on her old on her own siding. The driver and fireman came to inspect her. Wow, she looks very nice. Yes, and even by the moonlight, her paint looks very nice. Old Slow Coach liked the compliments, but she missed Catherine, Annie, and Clarabelle. I wish I had something with somebody to talk to. They said. Old Slow Coach was hoping that she would get to talk to her friends the next morning. The next day, Thomas came by. Heard that you're tired tired of becoming a coach. So it became a mobile home. Not really, said Old Slow Coach. He ex she explained the situation. I see, said Thomas. Don't you miss your friends? Yes, said Old Slow Coach. More than anything else on this railway. All I want to do is just see their faces. Do you think they'll come by here? Maybe, said Thomas. Maybe not. You're going to have to see. And Thomas puffed away. But, for, but for the entire day, Old S Catherine, Norini, and Clarabelle came by. Old Slow Coach was set. I want to see their faces. Night after night, day after day, Old Slow Coach stayed in the same spot. She became very sad, and every night she began crying herself to sleep. Just then, one night, however, everything changed. The driver and fireman come back. One thing I've noticed, however, she looks very, very nice. Yes, indeed. Hmm, I wonder if she'd become our permanent home. Permanent home, said Old Slow Coach. Oh, there, that's no good. Yes, we could take the wheels off of her, and we can put her in that field over there. Oh, yes, that would make her look very nice. Old Slow Coach was so sad, she cr she started crying again. I don't want to be scrapped, she said. This isn't fair. The next day, Thomas came by again. Old Slow Coach explained what she had heard. Oh, no, said Thomas, that's terrible. Yes, they're going to scrap me and turn into a and turn me into a house. It's not fair. I see your point, Old Slow Coach, said Thomas. I must go talk to Sir Topham Head immediately. 
Thomas did. He met with the Flying Scotsman and told him first, however. That's terrible, said the Flying Scotsman. I like my driver and fireman, but that's a ridiculous idea, I must say. We must talk sir, to Sir Topham Hatt, indeed. They told they told Sir Topham Hatt what had happened. Sorry, guys, he said, but I sold the I sold the papers. I took I I I took the papers to the, the Flying Scotsman's driver and fireman. They have the papers now. Basically, they can do whatever they want. That's not fair, Sir Thomas. Yeah, old slow coach has been on the railway for many years. So, said Sir Topham Hatt, old slow coach is pop- property of them now. They can do whatever they want. Thomas was now very sad. Oh, dear, he said. I must do something about this. I can't let old slow coach be scrapped. Thomas explained the situation, which only, which only made old slow coach feel even sadder. Oh, dear, she said. This is terrible. The flying Scotsman, meanwhile, was also very sad. He told the coaches, he told Amy, Clarabelle, and Catherine what was happening. Oh, no, they said. We don't want her to be scrapped. She is our best friend, they said. Yes, I must do something about it, said the flying Scotsman. And he puffed away. Thomas went off with the flying Scotsman again. All right, he said. I have a plan. What w- the... My driver and fireman cannot scrap old slow coach if they can't find her. Exactly, said Thomas. So, said the flying Scotsman, we're going to need to hide her. But where? They'll never look in the yard. That's where all the other coaches are. Perfect, they said, since they don't consider her a, co- since they don't consider her a coach. They hired Bill and Ben to do the job. Bill and Ben were very sneaky. They knew they could rely on them. Bill and Ben took old slow coach away one night when the driver and fireman were out. And they put old slow coach back in the yard. Old Slow Coach was very happy. Oh, thank you, she said. This is very, very nice. I'm so glad to see you all. But the driver and the fireman complained the next morning. They wanted to take a good look at Old Slow Coach. This isn't fair, said the driver and the fireman. She's our property now. Yes, but said the flying Scotsman. But didn't you hear? The Bullstrode's bringing more wood. Then you guys can actually build your house. But yes, buying old slow coach would be much cheaper. We like her. But you guys are going to scrap me, she said. I don't want to be scrapped. Scrapped, said the coaches. Oh, no. The driver and the fireman didn't doubt their decision. We own old slow coach. We can do whatever we want. Thomas was very cross. Sir Topham, how, how can you do this thing? Old slow coach is still your property. She may be, she may be, she may belong to the to the driver and fireman, but she still is owned by you. You're right, said Sir Topham Hatt. You guys have no reason to scrap her. From now on, Old Slush, you will become a coach again, and you shall stay, stay, you will remain, you will remain very useful indeed. Thank you, sir, said Old Slow Coach, and she beamed with pride.